Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Douche. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> An Italian aid worker who was held hostage for 18 months by a militant group called Ashabab was finally sent back to her country of Italy. You know, spaghetti bolognese. About a couple of weeks ago, Silvia Romano was rescued in a joint operation of Italian, Somali, and Turkish forces. <laughs> there are three countries that I never thought I'd mention in the same sentence. It's like a bit of pizza, a doner kebab, and some rice on the top. Actually, that's not that bad. Make it happen, guys. Naturally, if you've been held hostage and you're back, yo, that is awesome. You know what I'm saying? So, when her plane landed, they were all smiles. People had gone to see her, welcome her. Yo, everyone was gassed. But when she left the aeroplane, she had something on her head. It was a hijab. No way. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It was a green hijab. Look, look, look. Ignore the fact that she doesn't have a single scar on her face. She's smiling. She's happy after being held hostage, mate. Who comes out of out of being kept hostage like la 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 that was her mate i'm not sure about the la 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 so when she left in a green hijab people like you know the smile when it just starts turning sour like oh, hey what the heck is that is she a muslim <laughs> i think she's a muslim oh oh what does that mean oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yes, indeed. Whilst she was in captivity, she says she converted to Islam, and she made it clear. She was like, "Yo," well, she didn't. She didn't say that. I wasn't forced. In fact, when I was there, they taught me about Islam. I even learned some Arabic when I was there. Now, when Ali sent me this story when it first broke, I was like, Stockholm syndrome. Let's give it a couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? It's when you start identifying and liking your your captors. But a couple of weeks have passed now and she's still a Muslim. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's still happy. She's not saying, oh, they sent me here to pretend or they forced me. She could have just, as soon as she landed, she could have said, I'll bun this. Forget that. Woohoo! Spring break. I, that's, that's a stereotype right there. I, I'm not proud of that. Now, if you're not happy with her being a Muslim, all right, cool. It's your loss. But Italy is going mental, mate. Yeah, bear in mind it's mostly these far right guys that are quite high up. If it's not bad enough that she's been held 18 months hostage, they're calling her a terrorist now. Listen to my guy over here. Poi però abbiamo osservato che quando è venuta la la neo terrorista, visto che vi saputo che Shabab questo è e questo finanzia e e evidentemente I don't think it's an exaggeration to say she's being bullied and punished by the media for accepting Islam. Had she not been a Muslim, her story would have been everywhere. I'm talking everywhere. She comes back, yo happy, yo I survived, flipping interviews galore. Now you tell me, Italy itself is a country that's no stranger to seeing religion being used as a scapegoat, yeah? I mean Catholicism, in, in, in the 1850s, Catholicism was being scapegoated. They were being called terrorists and you know what? It was madness, yeah? The Catholics had to go through a lot. But it seems like any of these countries, any of these groups that go through things themselves, yeah? Be it the Zionists, yeah? They do the same thing to the Palestinians. How can't you learn from your history? But it is quite interesting that she's qualified to be a terrorist just by saying that she's a Muslim. I mean, she hasn't done anything wrong yet. She hasn't done any attack or anything. And if nothing else, if there was a job interview of being a terrorist, I think it would be the easiest. I'm here to be a terrorist. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Take a seat. On the floor. Um, okay, so uh, I'm a Muslim. You're hired. But don't you want to see my portfolio? <laughs> I've seen enough. You're hired. Yeah, I mean, I, I read the Torah, I pray facing Tesco, and every Thursday evening I smear myself with bacon when I get really lonely and I just want to feel something. You clearly know your stuff. 
Now you're just showing off. So let me get this straight. These terrorists had a woman. They didn't take advantage of her. They didn't abuse or hurt her. Rather, they covered her up, sent her back in one piece, <laughs> and have put her on a spiritual path. Am I the only one that thinks that this is amazing? And that should be happy for her, the fact that she survived something like that. Why is the mainstream media not more impressed by this? Oh yeah, because every terrorist is bad. There's no political ideology or reason behind what they're doing. It's not because their land and politics are being interfered by international powers. Nah, forget all of that. Muslim, terrorists, all terrorists are bad. You can't question them, you can't even understand them. If you do, you're a terrorist yourself mate. Nonsense. An interesting perspective to the story that you're not gonna hear in the mainstream media. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's leave it there guys, until next time. <laughs> Asalaamu As Alaikum.